Hello there, and welcome back. We're playing some more Outer Worlds. If you like what I'm doing, just hit that like button. Or even if you don't, hit the like button anyway. <laughs> throw some positive, <laughs> throw some positivity toward my region. And if you do like it and want to see other games that I'm playing, uh, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. Otherwise, let's enjoy. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. Apparently, crouching is useful. All right. <laughs> Use the unreliable navigation terminal. Tartarus. Okay. Okay. The groundbreaker. Oh, I had to get something up front first. Let's go see what it is. You got a minute? What do you need? Captain. What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borsten beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Sure. Sure, we, we can head over to the engineer right now. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? All right, break time's over. Is it time for your regular daily period of unconsciousness? What? All right. There's a holographic shroud. The holographic shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions that give you access to restricted areas provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on site. Good to know. What's this? Let's go talk to this lady. Alright, hang on. Do I have skill points? Ooh, I got ten. Throw a couple on tech. One on leadership. <sighs> okay. All 
right. All right, dude, let's go. Just checking your ship's Hi. manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted. Smells like grease and unwashed bodies. Just as I remembered. You, you used to be here? Captain, if I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the Groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. You know, somebody who could read the book? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra II some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Seriously? Only one guy in the whole of Colony can translate French? The only one I'm aware of. I suppose we could always just ask random passers-by if they are fluent in it. <laughs> hey, I'm the captain here. Only I get to be a smartass. A ass. thousand pardons, my good captain. I thought we were engaging in witty repartee. Now, as far as tracking down this scholar... Fortunately, we're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. How will a crew manifest help us track down your scholar friend? I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off-world destination. Sounds good. Let's go. Thank you, Captain. At uh, first, things first. Main quest. Speak to... Yeah, I'm gonna speak to Gladys first. That's not the point. This hat would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. Good thing now. Customs and inspection, right this way. What's up? Captain. Here you go. Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly what? been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. How do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. Can't miss it. Any idea why my ship is impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Huh. Great, I'll go talk to him and straighten you this out. You take the starch out of him? Well, 
You won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? What the f- I'm not going to do your job. Now hold on, it'll just take a minute. Fine, what is it? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. For shipment? A, a handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Got it. No promises. Of course. What am I to you but the guy who's got his eye on your ship? Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm looking for someone named Gladius. Defense. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. What can you tell me about Udom Benford? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Sounds like a fun guy. Really likes his cereals, too. Maybe a little too much. Bit of a weird bird, all told. Don't see what's so wrong about liking cereals. They're fun. Udon takes it to an, uh, unhealthy level. See you around. Be seeing you. This is it. Got it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chi I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. Yeah, we'll hit that up later. First, let's do this thing. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go. Crap, where, where'd they say it was? lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name is Bran? What do you think you're doing? I'll pay you 76 bits to look the other way. Nice doing business with you. <laughs> Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Mm, looks like a, it's a barracks area. Millions of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. With caramel and pea free nuts in it, it's time for a KYO. The rest and go, okay. This is where we meet Gladys. Ooh, can we rent an upstairs room?
Yeah, that's a that's some sweet threads there. Got my sights on you. What up? You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven, just like store bought. Wow, sounds pleasing. However, Phineas sent me, he said you could sell me a nav key to Stellar Bay. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Is there any chance I could get a discount since, you know, Phineas sent me? Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the Groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No qualms here. Let's hear the details. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as no, a pea, yet. that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Where was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Alright, say no more. I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Abandoned outpost, corporate secrets, got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Thanks for your time. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Talk to Udom Bedford. I'm not going anywhere, you hear? Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? 
Yeah, this is Chief June Ling's. You don't know shit here. Ah, the board. Organized, efficient, competent. Well, mostly. For the following story. Everything in here is worth more than I made in my whole life. That guy. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Alex is dead. Forget about Alex. Why'd you impound my ship? I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a, a game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells. He tells me he will soon. I impound his ship. He explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in Wells. Around and around we go. Thrilling. Anyway, about my ship. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Why do you think I'd know anything about Wells? Well, Alex knew, or he said he did. And you have his ship. Maybe he kept some records around, or... A conveniently placed note on his bedside table. Alex never mentioned Phineas Wells. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Nope, I'm good. Well, that was easier than expected. All right, let's talk to this engineering lady. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board and Auntie Greasy, hey, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen, a home-style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. Let's see what you Beginning got. dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. All right, engineering. This is 
I thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sublevel. Story. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Look what nice place you've got here, Chief. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. I'll try not to start any fights, but I might have to end some. Ain't that always the way? So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Just passing through. <laughs> Statistics don't lie. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Pavardi, you wanted to talk to... Janelle, go ahead. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. <laughs> Next time, uh, I gotta learn to read before I start playing these games. <laughs> Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Parvati, don't be shy about requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person. Right! In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great. I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Nice job, Perfardi. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. It seemed kind of warm in here. What's going on? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. I'm sure your cable staff can stay ahead of the My problem. engineers have managed to keep the heat to livable levels, but all the fixes are temporary. This wound is bound to fester. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. <sighs> Is there no room for compromise? None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable price. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back base. The back base? Am I supposed to know where that Sorry, is? Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. I got those parts from the back phase. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. All right, Pravardi. Here helping your girlfriend out. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly
Alright. Let's see if we can get. Still betting on the toss ball series? I know you were trying to stop. What a couple of bits. CMP chicken and potatoes. At CMP, we know our CMP. I know she's in there, and <laughs> Spacer's choice. Ha 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 ha. We expect you out here again. Can surfish is already sold out again. Who knows? Rizzo's mock apple cider. A hard cider for a hard Try to stay away from people then. Hey, what's up, guys? And we made it out. I okay, gotta figure a way to get in there. that terminal looks like it's behind that red door Spikes. Let's see if Gladys has anything for us. Rizzo, purple berry crunch, triple gel flakes, and purple what berry the hell's going on? power nuggets. We were in a holding pod for two hours just to get in. Arms had to go on break. Wait, what? The lost hope. It's been deader than usual around here. Jeep wants to reduce board traffic. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Concerned citizens often ask why there aren't enough new faces in the Halcyon colony. We all want new neighbors from time to time. Our studies have shown that a controlled population is inversely proportional to consumer happiness. Fewer colonists means there's more paradise for the rest of us to enjoy. Alright. Gotta get another hacking module. I'm wondering if, uh. Gladdy. That's what I need. Got what I need. Hang on. Mag pick. Mag pick. Never mind. Don't need to talk to Gladdy. Let's put away the gun. All right, we're 
right, we're gonna get we're gonna get in downstairs now. Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Great work. All right, let's look at some. Uh, all right, let's eject the docking records data cartridge. So I got some confiscated goods. Detained a freelancer who uh, was cagey about his business, confiscated his personal belongings while he waited for questioning. Ooh. Hatchet, metal hooping, prayer beads, lock container, security logs. Alright, so I put a bid on one of our impounds, generally so one, two. Negotiate for the usual finder's fee and then give Lila her salvage. Okay, there was a brawl at the Last Hope Freelancers versus Board Freelancers. One arrested a fighter captain with more bits than brains. Hawthorne's ship impounded by order of Udom Bedford. Still no clue why Hawthorne associated with that board snake. A guy from the back bays roughed up the moon kid raring mad. Warned me that the moon was gonna bring about the end time. It was flying high on whatever Mac Red grows down there. Got a sworn testimony that Mac Red was spotted at the rest and go. Not that anyone will corroborate it. Remind her to keep an eye on Gladys. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Oh yes, here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? You hesitated there, Vicar. What aren't you telling me? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? This all seems awful convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Sounds good. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> okay. So it's time to go check out. Okay. 
right, solution vital. Let me go talk to this person. I know she's in there, Mfuru. You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Hey, what's up? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Well, it told me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipment. <laughs> or it could be nicer. I think I'm going to go with this one. Wheeler says your shipment won't be coming in soon. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Who's Erion? What do you what do you need mechanicals for? Surgery mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. What is that? The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. Okay. Well, I'll see ya. Alright, this place is gonna blow up unless we help them. So... I'm gonna do this. CNP Borstworth. It's not the worst. Following that series? The hunt for the Wimbro? The pirate ship? I don't go in for docu-series. Whoa, what? Ike's armory. Yeah, hello. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times, you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Let me see what you got for sale, buddy. Weapon parts. How much money do I got? Armor parts. Yeah, Alright, let's sell some of this junk. Thanks. All right, let's go get these components. Who the? Hey, McRedge, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe I should. Okay, come on. Oh, get up. Uh. okay, that was kind of expected.
All right, let's go. Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Keep him quiet, Cap. Okay, that was easier than expected. Where did that chewy crystal yeah. go? Shoot on sight, jesters! Definitely need better weapons. Greg gave me a taste of the good stuff. I've been tripping for days. Careful with that shit. You'll end up as crazy as he is. It takes crazy to live in this universe. Crazy cosmos. Crazy. What? Oh, Jesus. Today's my birthday. Oh yeah? Fuck your birthday. Damn. <laughs> <Dang. laughs> yeah, that was messed up. Liz's gonna be pleased as pie when we show her these. Alright, we just Still need to make it out of here. All right, Vicar. Glad you get your hands around that. Can you imagine being frozen for 10 years, sailing through space in a room such as this? Plasma rifle, thank you very much. I will take that. Let's try to make it out of here. You get that automatic patch? 
My crowd wants it up and running. I'm trying to think of a good name before I wake it up. We've got a fight on our hands. Oh, shit. Let's go. Whoa, they had a they have a mech? Sneak on out. But as we're sneaking on out, we are going to take that. It's got a beer. Well, okay, it looks like sneaking is the way to go. Huh? Alright guys, let's book it. Haha, <laughs> made it out. Crazy. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt. You hey, Jun Lee. I got, I got the parts for the radiation. I got the parts for the radiators. What now? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. Mant- what? Define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. Please tell me they're not face huggers. I got your parts. Why do I have to go to the some maintenance? Shop? If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able though you've proven to be. Alright, I'll make my way down. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. <sighs> Fine. Where's this workbench?
All right, let's do this thing. Worms look like. The controls are in the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radiator. You don't need to kill the mass pillar, but I'd be my grateful if you did. I've got this thing about giant insects. Here we go! They come. What do you mean here they come? Fine. I guess I can't read anything. I gotta go. Get him. Okay, let's keep going. Alright, Captain. That's the terminal. I have the 
parts in position on my side. Let's do the thing. The controls are in the back of the machinery shaft area. Let's go, let's go. Good news? Song tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news? Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Sneak past if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. get our own.
cobbled together. The staff is getting restless. Workaround and half cock solutions are all we've got to mend groundbreakers' bones. In many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing other. Grandma lived with that reality, and so will I. I can rally our spirits, but what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreakers' real test will be seeing if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet, JT. Found some of Chief Gooing's old schematics. Groundbreaker must have taken a beating during the crossing because she spent half of her career patching it up. A lot of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers, I also found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my docks. Something that might have gotten sealed off along the way, like blood cells isolating an infection. I hate to put sediment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some workaround in the guts of this old bird, it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. Well, we saved the ship. Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy because of you. What was that about back at June Lee's? Well, I didn't expect her to be so tall. And did you see the size of her arms? She's okay, I guess. Sounds like you have a crush on her. What? No. Maybe? I don't... It's like somebody reached into my head and pulled out what I didn't know I wanted. You know how hard it is to find anybody who likes working with tools in a little town like Edgewater? There's more to a relationship than beefy arms and a shared career. I reckon there's worse places to start. Did you see how everybody on Groundbreaker listens to June Lay? She's just, here's how to fix it. And they trust her. It's just, she's calm and knows what to do. I wish I was half so confident. All right, we'll talk later. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertise. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Ooh, thanks. What, what is it like being a commander out here? Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. The ship's a family business? You've got my attention. Well, I'll be on my way. Talk to you later.
We'll talk later. I'm not gonna steal from these people. did. Alright. It's not the worst unless it's worst worst. <laughs> it's not the worst unless it's worst worst. Alright Doc, what do you Keep need? hanging around and I'll begin to think you're here for me. What can I do for you? What's going on? I'm expecting our delivery fellow to stop through with medical supplies and service auto mechanicals. Name's Captain Erion. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. A place is probably crawling with outlaws. Probably. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See you... I'm staying out of this. I'll see you later. Alright guys, let's head back to the ship. Who wants to play an impromptu toss ball match? No one? Really? Hey there! Seems like there's some tension between the board and Groundbreaker. You noticed, huh? I'm sharp like that. What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. Yeah, Chief Yun Lei. Let the board hold your replacement part storage. Why? Hostage. Why? It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or, they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that. Would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do alright. So far, anyway. The board runs most of the systems, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Sure thing. Thanks for the info. Be seeing you. Hey, uh, that pad down there, with the lights off, there are people unloading a ship. Probably. I had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicker. Of course. The cosmos is generated and directed by the universal equation. 
also known as the Grand Plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Oh, um, right. You had a question? Never mind. That about answers it. <laughs> okay. Hey, you got a second? Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in yeah. port. Got to thinking you might be looking for some crew, so I wandered by, just to take a closer look. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Yeah, what can you do for me? You're pretty eager to throw in with somebody that you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. If you're, going, if you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going about it all the wrong way. Oh, okay. Well... Uh, can you give me a couple of pointers? Don't beg. Tell me why I need you on my crew. Hey, that's good advice. I like the way you think, boss. Besides, not like there's a line of folks standing around hoping to get on your ship. I'm persistent, I'm eager, and I'm showing initiative. What else do you want on your crew? made up my mind about you. How about an interview? Sure. An interview? That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Are you getting... Are you any good in a fight? Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time, I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a tossball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. That's a promise. What's your biggest flaw? Foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority, it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. Okay. So why are you out of work? I had this Foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolved your difference like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. All right, let's see how smart you are. What is the value of pie? Uh, it's delicious. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust, maybe with a little cream on top, classic. <laughs> Perfect, you're hired. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. Okay, we'll see you on the ship, Felix. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. Really? We're picking up strays now? Look at that. Uh, dude. Real vicar. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. Dude, you're a stray. Calm down. Oh, your face is a sight for sore ocular processors, Captain. Or rather, your headgear is. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? A 
picked up a distress call. Can you play it back for me? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth. The unemployed! For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Alright, talk to you later, Ada. Well, alright guys, that's gonna do it for me for today. See you next time. Ugh. You put that helmet back on. I'm looking kind of rough.